Hey, you guys. <laughs> so, mukbang story time talk session. Short. <laughs> this is, hopefully, everybody's having a good day. I want to send everybody a high energy of love, strength, resilience, power, abundance, and prosperity in all areas of your life. I'll show This is burrow bananas. This is fried mushrooms, you guys. Not meat. It looks and tastes like meat, but it's not. It's mushroom. Mm. Mm. Mm, I like this part. Mm. I've eaten most of you guys. I was so hungry. It has this sauce. I'm not sure what kind. Tomatoes, bell peppers. <clears throat> this looks like arugula. It's really, really tasty. Mm. I ordered it from this vegan place through Uber Eats, which is really good. And this is like a sour sap drink, and then I ordered my son a sea monster. He's eating a mushroom burger. I ordered some other food. So. I was thinking about some things from last night until today. And one of the things that I was thinking about was the energy of worry. Right? I'm in a job. The energy of worrying and how it puts us in this unnecessary energy vortex if you will because we're thinking it's almost like you're allowing the energy of fret darkness because you allow a lot of low stuff in when you worry about things you shouldn't worry about <clears throat> which you shouldn't worry about anything you gotta surrender and just have faith um Or something, a new juncture of my life that I'm getting ready to go into. And I guess I was in the vibration of worry. And it's like, it's weird how our minds allow us to go there if we give it, you know, if we give it control because. We can intuit, like our spiritual side of us, intuitively knows everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to work out. We know this. We got visions, confirmations that everything going to be okay. Prophetic dreams, prophetic uh, relays from other people, all that. But we still allow ourselves to worry. It's real twisted when you think about it. Real twisted. So, I even looked up the definition, which I can't get it because it's in the phone, and screenshotted it. Because I was going to read it to you guys, but I decided to just turn this into like a mukbang, chit chat thing type of thing. Do it something different. Look at that. It looks so good, y'all. Y'all see that? You still hungry? Yeah. Mm. So, I wanted to. What I was going to say, I want to encourage you guys to not worry, to trust your intuitive knowing, because a lot of you guys are super in turn intuitive. Close this door, baby. It's a little cool. And you have a, a strong gift of discernment, okay? It goes hand in hand. So don't allow your, because it, 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 Matthew, I like it, baby. <clears throat> it could even be the energy of people in your environment, people who you are close to, you know, that impact the way you feel and think, you know? Yes, that's just an example. But when you know that everything is going to go in your favor in any area, say you lose your job, 
you lose a, a stream of income. Anything in your life, I guarantee you, it might be ugly at some point, but it's, you're going to come out of it. It's going to work in your favor at some point. I guarantee you that. Yeah. This is nachos. I'm going to show you guys what I got. Because I ordered... I ordered a lot. I just gave um, um it was like um I think these are oyster mushrooms, but it was like an oyster mushroom burger. My son had one and I gave it to somebody else. But this right here is like a sushi wrap. If you guys can see, this is all vegan. And it is it's so I'm, I'm probably only gonna be able to have because it's heavy. It's really heavy. <clears throat> Hold on, no, because you have some of these. Oh, yeah, I want you. And then these are the nachos. OMG, y'all. Look at this. <laughs> I'm going to get back. That's why people be fat and be vegan. <laughs> I'm not trying to insult them, but I'm just saying because look. And it's heavy and it's feeling. And this wasn't even super expensive like that. Look at this. It's like some of the same ingredients that was on the burrow fries. Um, but yeah. yeah. All right, three. Okay, taste test, guys. Okay, he wants to show y'all. All right, taste test. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> fire. What do I want to say? It could be a situation. You lose something. Okay. You lose something. I guarantee it's going to work together. Let me give you guys a story. <laughs> Y'all know me. So back in 2019, <clears throat> I moved into this apartment in, when was it? February or March of 2019. <clears throat> I want to say February. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm getting over a cold too. I got here now. Grandma, I got some rainbow mm -hmm. here now. I had moved into an apartment. A few months after I moved there, I some like a lot of stuff happened, okay? And I was the money was very, very, very tight for me, okay? Very tight. So I'm trying to I don't even I wasn't even getting I wasn't getting any type of food stamps. I wasn't getting any assistance. I just it was just really tight, you guys. I, around that time, <clears throat> excuse me, I started recording videos. I started doing readings and stuff like that on YouTube and on Instagram. Neither here nor there came to a day where I didn't have any food. I mean, I didn't have shit. My refrigerator was empty. Excuse me. Five years ago, I didn't have nothing. I barely had seasoning. Barely. Barely. I posted something on Instagram. Didn't have anything to do with what was going on. I just posted it. Somebody that I was close to at the time, I guess they sensed that something was going on with me. And they asked me in the comment section, like, what's wrong? And I didn't respond. Then they asked again. I can't remember if I said it in a comment or I DM them, because this was on Instagram. I told them what was going on. This person... Send me two hundred dollars, okay? Two hundred dollars. Now, at the time when you don't have no food or nothing, forty or fifty dollars would suffice. This person sent me two hundred dollars. I didn't know where. I knew something. Every time I'm in those types of situations in my life, I know something is going to work out. I don't know how. What it is is. The universe, however you look at it, divinely orchestrates certain events for us so we can establish and align with the strongest vibration of faith. That's why it is a waste of time to worry, to stress, to fret. Every freaking thing in your life has worked out that was ugly at some point. You may not have liked how it worked the fuck out, but it worked out. It worked out for you in a most divine way. I'm just saying. I know for me, it had. Don't sit back. Don't why you keep trying to sit back, baby. There's no room. 
It worked out. You gotta lift it up. You have to. This is the thing. A lot of people who understand spirituality on some level, because it's it's so. If you think you know a lot, there's way more that you can know. You see, we're kind of, that's why we're constantly learning. We're constantly transforming. We're constantly transmuting because there's infin, infinite, infinite, sorry, information and knowledge out here in, in this universe. This universe is vast. Just think about it. It's vast. My son was breaking down all the galaxies, how many galaxies. And we watched this video before. It's infinite. You get what I'm saying? So get a plastic spoon, man, or a spoon in general. So, I forgot I lost my train of thought. There's always more for you to gain. You have to be, Leia, please, baby. You have to be, you have to be a babe. You have to be a, a literal babe to operate uh, uh, in the most divine way, in the most aligned way when it comes to faith. Okay? You do. You cannot worry. You cannot stress. It is a waste. It's a freaking waste. Think about it. And when you sit and you feel it, if there's stress, if there's worry, exactly close the kitchen door, please. A kid, anxiety that is trying to well up in you and your existence. Sit with that shit. <laughs> sit in it. Transmute it. Let it work for you. Be a work. Align yourself with alchemy. Even the most negative, low vibrational, detrimental, abusive situations, dark spaces. You can transmute that shit and let it work for you. And wake up a new being because of that. That's holding your power, standing in your shit. Don't worry. If you guys knew some of the shit that I passed through. With all, I mean, just in all areas. <clears throat> Don't let it get you down. Some of you guys are powerful warriors. You are. Some of you guys are divinely put here to do work, but you gotta try. You gotta. You gotta navigate those dark areas of you. And some of you guys have a lot of fear in you. I know because it was me. I know. You know. I get it. <clears throat> Step out on faith. I don't know who I'm talking to. But there's going to be a man. <clears throat> might be more than one man. That's going to watch this video. And he's scared to do something. Scared to approach a situation. Scared to approach a person they're interested in. Scared to approach um, a boss. Step out on faith. Where's your faith? So good. You know what? I don't know what made them act regular to this, but they knew what they was doing. They knew what they was doing. Look how big this was, y'all. This is some, I'm gonna have to do a review. I'm gonna make, probably make this a, a separate review video because that's how damn good this shit. <laughs> For real. So, anyways, I hope that this video has been official in some sort of way. I hope that you allow yourself to welcome in all this new energy. Um, I hope that you continue to strive towards your imperfect perfection. I hope that you rise above uh, karmics situations where you've learned all you need to learn when you ever have a person in your life and a, a cycle just keeps repeating and you've given it all that's because that situation is timed out it's leveled out of your life it's time to release it and surrender and move on to the next okay don't worry everything is going to work out i promise you that okay i promise you that if you guys have any questions want to book a session with me or anything like that 
I'm going to leave my link tree and in, um, information, <coughs> excuse me, and my email address down below. I also have a business line too. You guys can text me on there if you want. Okay. I love you guys. Peace.